Welcome back to the Next Gen Profits Podcast. We are your hosts, Deborah and Jessica and Michael. Because we are here for a special edition of our Next Gen Profits podcast. This week has been crazy. Oh, yeah. We have been having our Rise of the Prophetic Champions retreat. We've had, what was it, 10 nations, Jessica, in one room and almost another 10 states in one room all together visiting us to come together and accelerate each other's prophetic processes. It has been phenomenal. And we want to take the time to help give you a bit of a recap on everything that's been going on and our greatest takeaways from this event so far. Yeah, because we've had so much happen in just these seven days. This retreat has been so phenomenal and the Lord has really given us a different experience. Even though we've all been in the same retreat, we've done the same things. God just has put on each of our hearts mm. different um, impartations, different takeaways, and we wanted to help spread the fire to you so that you can see what God is doing, not only with us as the Next Gen Prophets, but also to see what He's going to do in your life and what He's doing in this new move that is to come to the church. Because whether you know it or not, Prophet, you are a part of a movement, a movement that is globally taking part in every home and every denomination. And just in this retreat, we have seen a stir and the, the DNA of what God is doing to his church. So each of us are going to share what God put on our heart, what we learned, and you will just have to forgive us, guys. Um, we're currently sitting in a hotel room because tomorrow is our graduation, but we we didn't want to stop um, and have you guys miss another week from hearing from your mentors, from us, because we need you to know we love you. We care about you. We didn't forget about you just with the retreat. And to, and actually, while you're listening to this, we're preparing for a graduation. So we we wanted to make sure that we were here for you. Exactly that, Jessica, because I want to jump into one of my favorite takeaways. And it actually changed while you were speaking, Jessica. So something <laughs> crazy that happened. And for me, this is like, this doesn't happen to me, okay? So in this retreat, we got four people saved. Yeah, that's right. Four people came to the Lord during this retreat, random people literally on the street. Now, we are not the kind of prophets that go downtown and we start, you know, spreading the salvation We're message. We're not evangelists. No, we are not evangelists. So for us to have so many people just suddenly get saved while we're basically sitting at home? And having tacos, literally, the one of my favorite stories, we're sitting paying for our tacos at Tacos Manuel, and one of our next-gen prophets, Diane Johnson, shout out to Diane for even noticing, calls me over because there's this one gentleman listening to our group of crazy prophets singing a worship song a cappella, and he just started sobbing. He just was sobbing and crying right there in the street, watching our prophets go and sing this worship song. And she's like, I think this man needs prayer. I'm like, I think you're right. So I call him in and I start talking to him. And I'm like, Diane, go get my husband because he's the evangelist, not me. You know, he's our Gideon. He got this. And he starts just talking. I'm like, so, you know, what's going on, man? Are you okay? He's like, oh, no, it's just what you're singing is so beautiful. And it's just so wonderful i'm like oh are you saved are you are you a believer are you born again he's like no i kind of grew up christian i mean my parents went to church i said well would you like to give your life to the lord would you like to experience him for yourself and have this relationship with him and at this point he w he was c crying sobbing so hard he barely had the words to even say yes and so michael and i got to pray with him and release those gifts over him and bring him into that encounter with the with the lord and release a face to face relationship with him oh that's our god right there you know which brings me to my takeaway you know i was looking at the theme for this retreat and the one thing god really placed upon my heart is how as believers god predestined us 
to be his children. You know, every single one of us from being out in the wilderness, being unbelievers, were orphans. We were alone. We faced the hardships mm. alone. We went through challenges and times in the wilderness. When we hurt, we hurt alone. When we cried, we cried alone. And um, I even remember uh, Apostle Craig was sharing when before he got saved, how he would go to bed at night. And after a day out, he would, you know, he would come home, lay in his bed and feel absolutely alone. And just this, this, this darkness in the room that would overwhelm him sometimes. And when he got born again, he said, I, he shared with us, he said, I remember when I went to bed that night, I crawled into my bed tucked myself in those sheets, and I could still feel Jesus with me. Mm. And the room wasn't lonely, it wasn't cold, but it was filled and he was at so peace. Good. And it's like in that moment, we realize what it means to be adopted by Christ because God has called every single one of us to be a part of a family. One of the most beautiful things I've seen in this retreat is how many of God's children were adopted, mm. both from the the people that got saved over this retreat, especially for you, Michael and Deborah, um, they actually got to connect and personally declared in front of everybody the spiritual daughter that they then adopted into their Feltes and family. And also we had another couple who took on a spiritual child and publicly shared that adoption process into their family. And it was so beautiful because you could already begin to see how these these ones began to connect with that family and found a place to belong and to take on that inheritance that God had. I mean, just even for you guys with your spiritual daughter, she's taking on this next gen. She's taking mm -hmm. on the, the powerful Gideon side from Michael, but also this loving, tender mm -hmm. Deborah nature from you. And it's just beautiful because each one of us are called to connect and um, to be a part of that family and take that DNA that God has given to each mm -hmm. one of us. And um, that for me was just the the best part because that is who we are, what we're always meant to be. We were never meant to be alone, mm. guys. And I know many of you out there, you you found this podcast, you found us because you were alone. Yeah. You you went through the wilderness. You went through times of isolation. You didn't fit into your family. You didn't fit into your church. Everywhere you went. You were an outcast. You were a stranger. But bringing all these prophets together for this retreat, I could truly see that everyone here, everyone on this podcast, you found home. And I need mm. you to know, if you take nothing else from this, you have been adopted. You belong to a family. And this is your home. This mm. is where you belong. Now, what was your favorite part, Mike? You know, Jess, one of the points that got highlighted to me the most was the change of heart. For most of these people that came to this retreat, a lot of them are our tribe, a lot of them are our prophetic school students, our faithful ministry campus students. So we got to see them on a journey. We got to see them run their race. We got to see them over the months and the years that it took them to get to this point. And today they're going to be graduating. And it's a momentous occasion for them. But there's one thing that stood out to me, and that was this. The person that arrived at this retreat is not the same person that is leaving. Mm, amen. It is not the same person that is going to be bound with any demons because deliverance happened every single day. Oh, yeah. The fire of God came down and they got a touch from heaven. And you could see the relief and the weights that they had on their shoulders just got released. The burdens that they were carrying, the family obligations, oh my goodness. All of these guilt trips being set free, chains over their hearts. We had so many coming in there with wounded hearts and God brought his healing balm. And today, prophets, as we just shared a little bit of our three takeaways, I hope you get to realize that you were a part of this too. Because it's the DNA, like Jessica said, that shaped us. It's the DNA that is shaping you. That same journey that these prophets and pastors went on to get to where they are today is the same journey you were on. 
and I was we were just talking about it going through our notes before this podcast and I said to Jessica and Deborah, I said, you know, ladies, I see it almost like this. This vision I see in my spirit is they run in a race and you trip right before the finish line. Now, if any of you ever run a race, you have two choices. Either you stay down or you get back up and you finish that race, whether you come last or second or third or first. It doesn't matter. You have those two choices. And for the people that came to this retreat, there was a ignition in their belly because they know that they fell and they know that they lay down there for far too long but they got up they tied that shoe that came loose they pulled up those socks they tied their pants and they ran across that finish line that is the greatest takeaway prophets god is calling you to run just like they did to run in this race and to not give up to allow the Lord to continue to shape you, prophet. Even now, I'm just stopping for a second and I see each and every single one of my next-gen prophets around the world. You tripped and you fell, but it's time to get up. Listen to us, your big brothers and sisters, your pastor, your pro tip. Get back up. You've got this, prophet. You're not alone. No, you're not alone. It tells us in Ephesians 1, verses 4 and 5 just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. You have been predestined, prophet. Amen. That's right. You have been predestined for adoption. Mm. And I really want you to understand the power of this. Because when you as a next-gen prophet understand that you are not listening to this podcast today by accident. You are not standing where you are today by accident, but you were predestined to be here today at this time, at this place, listening to these words because God has connected you with a family. God has connected you with a pastor. He has connected you with an apostle. He has connected you with a team of other fivefold ministers and prophets that will bring you into that family dynamic and really bring the best out of you. So for those of you who are listening who are, maybe you you haven't found your niche yet. Maybe you haven't found your home yet. And for those of you who don't feel like you found your family yet, I'm here to tell you, you have. So jump onto myprophetictribe.com, chat with one of our team members using the live chat box or... Take the extra step and become a member of our prophetic tribe. Let us equip you. Let us train you. Let us accelerate your prophetic process. For now, we're going to end off here and get ready for our graduation tomorrow morning. So I can't wait to connect with you guys more next week. Bye for now. Prophet, you belong here. We're glad to be a part of your journey. See you next week. Love you guys. See you next week. Bye-bye for now.